Hey everyone, welcome back to the Remote Professional Network. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first job opening that we are going to cover is going to be with Liberty Mutual. This is going to be a claims customer care associate position. Liberty Mutual has some of the best benefits that we've seen with a company this far. They offer a pension, they offer a 401k, they offer various cash bonuses. They really reward people who are high performers. And on top of that, do note for this position, they are hiring in all states except Hawaii, Alaska, and California. So unfortunately, if you are from one of those three states, you will not qualify. If you're from any other state, you do qualify. Your pay range is going to be 40000 to 47000 roughly. Um, the salary is going to be dependent upon your location and experience. So if you have a couple years of experience in customer service or claims or anything like that, just the insurance industry alone, put that in your resume definitely highlight that so that they make you a better offer and your working schedule is going to be an eight hour shift with various start times between 6 a.m and midnight central standard time okay some of the things that you'll be doing you're going to be a collaborative partner you're going to work with internal and external partners you'll support policyholders while their claims are being processed you're also going to be a customer centric employee so you're gonna convey a calm, caring attitude. You'll provide best in-class service to customers while processing new claims and first notice of loss firm, uh, forms. Okay, so this is really a good start to start a claims career. Further along your career in Liberty Mutual, I have looked and I have seen some of the salaries for the claims career, career path. You could easily be at $60,000 in two years and probably in six digits um, further along in your career after that, okay? The only requirements that you really need, you do need a high school diploma or a GED. And again, they are looking for probably preferring people that have some experience in customer service, um, but that is also not required. For these positions, when they post them, they are often hiring multiple people for these roles. Definitely be ready when you have an interview, if you get an interview, Make sure that you dress business casual, at least Liberty Mutual is a little bit there in the Northeast in Boston. That's their main headquarters. Typically there, you're going to be seeing khakis and a blazer for men and uh, for women. Maybe if you have some kind of suit, wear that, that'll definitely impress them and give them a good first impression for you. Make sure also with Liberty Mutual that you submit a cover letter, spend a little bit of time on it, state your case, showcase some of the uh, great work that you've done in the past and that will boost you up in, in the rankings to get this job. Okay, we are going to cover one more job after this, so stick around, it's gonna be a bonus job. We'll get right to it right now. And the next job that we are going to be covering is going to be with a company called CareCentrics, and they are hiring for a healthcare customer service expert to help in their staffing areas. The pay will start at about $17 an hour and it can go up to $20 an hour after your training. So definitely read up on that once you actually get into this uh, job posting. What you're gonna be doing is you're actually gonna be coordinating with physicians and you're going to be responsible for timely communication to the referral source, physician and patient. Essentially what you're gonna be doing is a lot of scheduling for patients. We can see here starting pay for external hires is $17 an hour plus a monthly incentive bonus opportunity. And so you can see here that there are gonna be opportunities for you to move up in your career as well, which is pretty exciting. As far as qualifications or requirements go, you do need a high school diploma. They wanna see that you have one year of experience in customer service. This does not need to be remote or anything. If you worked retail or anything that involved interacting with customers, put that down and just say it's customer service, okay? What I would do on my resume is I would make sure that my one of my jobs maybe said customer service representative, and that will probably pick up pretty well in the ATS system. Uh, beyond that, yeah, we'll drop the link to this below. Also know guys that always, if you head over to remoteprofessionalnetwork.com, we have jobs that get posted all the time. We're getting a bunch now at this point, so we can't make videos for all of them. So it is possible that there are going to be jobs up here that we don't announce that we don't make videos for, but we do link them in our community tab. So if you subscribe to the channel, you will be notified of these new postings um, almost immediately, or you can just head over to remoteprofessionalnetwork.com if, if you wanna avoid that, okay? Take care and we'll see you next time.